I'm, I'm from a little, little small community which is uh, in rural Florida. Uh, it was rural Florida when I was growing up. It's in the Tampa Bay area and it's become <laughs> a little bit more urban now. But I grew up on a farm and we had uh, beef cattle and earlier uh, my grandfather had raised tomatoes and vegetables so I came out of a farming tradition. I also came out of a, a strong music tradition and I was very young before I remember I was really fascinated by the piano and fascinated by music. My mother was a piano teacher and she always had a, a, a church choir uh, for children um, and I participated in that both as a singer and later as a somebody who played for her choirs. My mother started uh, teaching me formally when I was four years old and I studied with her for a number of years and then studied with other, other teachers of course. Um, I studied piano and then later on studied uh, organ and began violin when I was uh, in elementary school uh, toward the end there and played the violin, the string bass in orchestra uh, for a year and then back to the violin and uh, played in youth orchestra. I was concertmaster my senior year of high school with the violin. But the piano was really always my first love. I was very fortunate as a, as a young person growing up with music to uh, play with some wonderful colleagues, to study under some wonderful teachers, uh, to perform under some wonderful directors, and to have some, uh, some experiences that, that I probably didn't appreciate as much at the time as I do now, but looking back on it, we're, we're very, very instrumental. One of the best master classes I ever had was with uh, Isaac Stern, um, and he came to uh, Sarasota Music Festival, Sarasota, I forget what the name of it was back at the time, but essentially he was incredibly uh, warm, he was very generous, he um, did a good job of correcting things that were improper in terms of technique or intonation in a way though that was not um, devastating, it was reinforcing. After college, after undergraduate years, I studied in Europe, first in Germany at the University of Mannheim, where I studied economics, and then at the London School of Economics, where I studied essentially international political economy, or the, the politics and the economic relations between, between nations. I went to Washington like a lot of younger people working for a, uh, somebody in the Congress, in this case a U.S. Senator from Florida, Walton Childs. He later became governor. And uh, when he was running for governor, I came back to, to Florida and moved to Tallahassee. And so I started uh, gigging with some guys in Tallahassee. And um, after that, it kind of really changed my concept of music. With jazz, I found myself having to listen to music differently. And, um, it really deepened uh, my composition. Suddenly I could see almost like a visual um, uh, presentation of music in my head, which was a, a very cool thing to do. It's a different perspective. One of the things that, that I think really characterizes my music uh, is since trying to get a sense of perspective. Um, I learned how to fly when I was 18 years old and I, I still fly. In fact, I'm a flight instructor or have the license, I don't actually do it. Uh, I don't really have time for that. But um, when you're flying, you get a different perspective on the earth, obviously. And it's a way to kind of um, let go a lot of the mundane, trivial things. I, flying and music are very similar passions for me. I find the same sort of release in music. Particularly the last few years as I've really worked more in composition and, and, and absorbed more music history and kind of gotten a perspective on the whole Western tradition of music and also an appreciation for, for other types of music, other forms of uh, creating scales and dealing with rhythm and harmony. Um, I find that I integrate uh, different parts uh, of my learning into my music. It's not just traditional Western music, it's now much more diverse rhythmically and harmonically. I live in St. Petersburg, Florida, although I do spend a lot of time in Washington as well, uh, still. But I, what I'm really interested right now in and what I find very compelling is Berlin. Berlin is a fantastic city and I am trying to be there as much as I can. I speak German, I went to school in Germany for a year. I'm very comfortable there and I find Berlin to be an incredibly interesting cosmopolitan city. As a composer, I am sort of interested in Berlin uh, because it's an audience that's willing to try out new things, try out things that are maybe a little bit uh, more challenging 
than what American audiences accept, because American audiences, by and large, are, tend to be very conservative. There's also a wonderful world music scene in Berlin, and I met some really uh, interesting people who um, really specialize in bringing together uh, music from different countries and different cultures in and maybe fusing, fusing that with uh, more traditional Western music, and that's very, very interesting. And last but not least, it's a great dance music scene there. You know, um, I do a lot of electronic music, of course. Uh, I studied that in part when I was uh, in, in school, and I've become really interested in, in you know, techno, uh, electronic stuff, dance music per se, broadly described. Um, and that may seem strange for somebody who's writing you know, choral music and, and more traditional uh, types of art music, serious music, but I think that uh, there's a lot to be said for, for, for dance music as well. One of the things that I am working on currently is uh, the idea of doing uh, a piece that combines percussion ensemble and choir. One of the, one of the cool things about uh, 20th century music is that percussion instruments really became much more used and much more focused on. Um, and right now there's a lot of, there's a lot of interest in, in percussion music and percussion ensemble writing. Percussion players will basically, they'll play anything you put in front of them. Uh, the more challenging the rhythm is, the more challenging it is uh, to pull together, the, the more they like it. Um, the choir tradition is quite different. The vocal music tends to be a lot more conservative, and of course you're dealing very often with performers who are not professional, you know, they're community choirs. Uh, they're good, obviously good professional choirs, they're, they're very, very good college choirs, and they're very good community choirs in the country. But by and large, you would not put the same sort of rhythmic challenges in front of a choir, nor should you because of the voice. The voice does have limits in what it can do. Uh, and its ability to react and, and to perform. But the idea of combining a really interesting percussion ensemble uh, and a really good choir is, is something I'm kind of playing with and I'm hoping to be able to, uh, to get something uh, performed in the next year or two.